Hey friends, how are you? Wendy Heath Newgast here sharing something that has completely changed my business and my life. Um, it is definitely, you know, everything's going AI, everything's going crazy, but this, what I'm going to share with you has really helped my social media post, my trainings, my text messages. Sometimes I just ask for a little inspiration. Sometimes I say, do me a quote or a, prog a program. It is amazing. If you have not done this, I put the link. Hi, Josh and Vicki. I put the link in um, the subject line up there because it's completely changed my business. Let me share with you. It's only going to be about a 10-minute training, but let me share with you what I do, how I use it, and why it's so beneficial. First of all, I'm going to walk you through how to, how to log in and how to open it. So you might want to take notes if this is something you want to do. So first of all, you go to chat.openai.com. Okay. I have like notes here so I don't forget each step. I want to make sure you get this. It is free. There is the 3.5 version. That's all I use and it's free. I don't go in the app. I just use it through Safari on my phone and I ask questions all day long. Write me a training for uh, dreams and goals. Um, help me with a post about a lighthouse. That was probably my biggest one that went really crazy viral. That lighthouse warmer came out and I went to chat, openai.com, chat.openai.com and said, help me write a, a social sharing post with a, regarding a lighthouse. And it was beautiful. Talked about a lighthouse. Well, I went through and picked and chose what worked for me because I want to make it genuine, authentically me. I'm not just going to take what chat openai says, you know, I'm going to make it mine and make it authentic and be myself, but get ideas and inspiration. Like it's gonna completely change your post, your text, your social sharing. Um, so let's go through that. Okay, so you go to chat.openai.com. This is really changed. This is, this is, yeah. So you log in and say, let's get started. Right here it says something like, improve someone, you could make a question like this. Improve my post for selling a used vacuum in good condition then you just cannot believe what it comes up with. Again, always be authentic and always make it sound like you if you're sharing. And that's my biggest thing. So there's a free version, the 3.5, the paid version, GPT-4. I don't use that. I just use the free version. Okay. Number three, you want to create an account. You've got to have an email. So that's the third step. And number four, they're going to verify your email. Yeah, I went broke it all down here. And then it's going to verify your email address. And then it's going to say your email is verified. So now you're like, cool, I'm in, I'm verified, all the good things. Number six is, um, welcome to the OpenAI platform. It has a lot of different things. I use the search line and I type in what I need and it generates and, and creates it. You can even hit the button like a refresh button and it'll give you another. If you don't like the way that sounded, hit it again. Do it again. Give me an inspirational quote that I could share on social media about being strong, being, you know, uh, being a boss in my business. You just won't believe what it creates for you. And number seven, it says, tell us a little about you. You have to put your name and your first and last name and your birthday. We're okay with that, right? And number eight, they're going to email a code that's going to verify it to you. And you got to enter that code in and then you're finally in. Yep. And, and it really changes your lives. Here are some of the things that you can ask. So here are some really good points to make this really specific and awesome and help your business. Um, to gather the questions and information using chat GPT 3.5 or similar chat bots. It's getting really huge right now. Google's doing something and I want to make sure you jump on the bandwagon so you know how to do this now. Number one, be clear and specific when you are writing, okay, clear inside that little search line. So I wrote, create a post on social selling with fan diffuser, or selling fan diffusers with Sensi. Okay, think it was clear, think it was specific. If you don't like what that says, hit that little button, it'll regenerate another one. And then there's a, line, a thing at the side that saves all of the things that you search for. So if you ever wanna go back, and this is the free version, it is so helpful. 
It, it, it makes your posts sound good. It makes your text messages sound good. If you ever struggle with vocabulary, um, it's just really helpful. And it just makes you say, but always put your emojis, your heart, and your information behind it so you're genuine and authentic. I'll say that a million times. So begin with a clear and concise question or statement. That's what you do. Specify what you need in as much detail as possible. So create a post on social sharing, fan diffusers with Scentsy. <laughs> you won't believe what it does. Okay, number two, use proper grammar and punctuation so it can read and understand better. Use a correct grammar to make your questions easy, easy to understand. Number three, one question at a time. One question, okay? Plus, you can click to see way more responses. Ask one question, one statement per input. And then that's what that list on the left-hand side is. All the things that you've asked. I can go back and read my lighthouse thing if I didn't want to look at my post and see the responses that I got from that. Guys, this is business changing. Maybe you're trying to write a post about what's coming out. You don't have to copy everybody else's right now. Sorry if you're doing this. All I see is Hogwarts post, the same person, same people reiterating and word vomiting the same post over and over and over again. Be creative, use chat GPT and change it a little bit to make yourself. Okay, so number four is ask open-ended questions. Avoid a simple yes or no. Instead, use open-ended questions to encourage more detailed responses. Number five, provide context. Offer context or background information to help the model understand your topic. They know Sensi. I do it all the time. They know who we are and what we have. And it pulls from all kinds of um, websites and just it pulls so much information. It gives you specific information as long as you ask specific questions. Okay. Um, provide context. Number six, specify your preferred format. If you have a format, um, Give me a summary or bullet points of this. Uh, a detailed explanation, mention it in a little curie. When you're, you're writing in there, mention. Like I say, create a post on social selling fan diffusers with Sensi. See how I did that? But I asked, um, what did I say? Oh, next year I've got to do a speech on the 20th um, anniversary. So I said, help me write uh, a shining star speech for our 20th anniversary with Sensi. You can't believe what it said. I'll probably use some bullet points, but I just wanted to see what it said. Amazing. Um, clarify it needed. If the model's response is not what you expected, you need further information, don't hesitate to ask for clarification or elaboration. Amazing. Number eight, be polite and respectful. Of course, they don't want bad words there. And number nine, use it as a guideline to message, text, customers. Thank you for my purchase. Um, your words, your content, you need to be genuinely you. So who, has anybody in here done this yet? Has anybody tried the chat? I have done it now since I think it launched. I, I did. I got in there and did it right when it launched and I've been using it. So, um, right, Cody? So cool. So, um, in the beginning, in the, in the notes, I see the link is up there, chatopenai.com. Go back and, and listen to the steps. Do the free one. Do you use it, Trish? Let me know. Do you use it? It's just changed my entire life business. And I want to share that with each and every one of you because um, it's it's happening now. I knew Google's actually doing something coming up where if you give them an image of something that you need to fix, um, they will give you step-by-step -step directions. Take a picture of something and I need to change this. And it pulls from everything. Like this is what's happening in our future, but use their words, make them your own. I can't stress that enough. Yes, I started using it last week. Oh, at our retreat. Yes, you use chat GPT. Yes, that's exactly what I'm doing. Chat, what is it? Chat dot GPT. No, chat dot open AI. It's the same thing. It's chat GPT. I'm so excited. I'm so excited that you guys did this. And I really want the best for you. 
Always make your post authentic. If you don't like the answer, hit that refresh. Keep asking. Ask a different way. Say, give me bullet points. Say, write us. Just be clear, specific, and let's just slay this social media game. Let's make our words so authentic, and let's make sure our customers know via text how happy we are. It's that simple. All right, girl. So uh, Trish has used it. That's right. You just read a retreat. This is something new. I really hope you do it. And um, from my heart to yours, happy social selling. Love you.